Okay. This is, uh, well, it's going to be all one video, so it is a separate segment than the one I've got, but this is, uh, we're pouring the base for the uh, kitchen counter today. After we found the air cleaner for the uh, mixer, which is 30 feet away. <laughs> That's Nane, he's a mixer driver. And uh, the one that fell in the cement, that's Benji. I'm not sure how he did that, but he's covered top to bottom. Uh, we have Randy and Pablo. Pablo's uh, new this week. We had a, a guy decide he'd to do something else. <laughs> he was with us about three years, but he decided he's going to change up. So uh, we gave him a, about a week to come back, and he didn't, so we hired a replacement. The uh, replacement crews generally, um, and also when you need extra uh, people for a day or a week or two weeks, uh, they're generally by recommendation of a uh, crew that's already here. It's people they know, they know they can get along with them. They, may, they know they know what, that they'll work. Oh, the mix is not running again. Who knows? So uh, we got Boyette finishing concrete. He does that most of the time. I suppose I'll have to go see what's with the mixer. Um, the rebar in this hole, it's, um, it wasn't done with notch boards. It was done by that looks good to me. And uh, perfectly serviceable. I had them add a couple on this front edge because when you go up like stairs at the bank and all the edges that broke off all the stairs in, in that town, uh, there wasn't enough rebar in it or it was so close to the surface it didn't have any cover. And that's the ma major problem is no cover. So uh, I just added some over here to this, uh, the two strips in the front. And if that breaks off, I don't know, I guess we'll glue something else up there. Well, that's enough of, of what this, this, everybody has seen concrete, I'm sure. Uh, add this to the previous one.